Good morning. My name is Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. It's an empty symbol whose definition is completely subject to my own agreement. I give life to that name. I give life to this body. I give life to this mind. I am this energy that animates this body. And this body is in constant communion with life. Awareness is that communion. The breath. It's a beautiful poem, thank you. The meditation is beautiful. The most beautiful thing about our breath is that it's the expression of unconditional love with life. When we take a breath, we allow the environment that surrounds us to nurture us. And as we exhale, we nurture the environment that nurtured us with our breath. Every time I take that breath, this nature, this life that surrounds us allows this body to live. And as I exhale, I give life to the plants that gives me oxygen. Love is the perfect balance between gratitude and generosity. When I take a breath, I am grateful for the element that, elements that allow me to live, that nurtures this body, that when I take a breath, this body takes in that nurturing. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that I give with generosity with my exhale. And I give back to the environment. And this continuous symbiotic relationship between us. My body is in harmony with life. And it's in perfect balance with unconditional love whether I'm aware of it or not. Whether I'm aware that that balance is happening in my life, it doesn't matter. My body is in that balance with life, expressing, projecting, receiving with our breath. I may not be aware of it because the noise inside my mind hooks my attention completely and doesn't allow me to see it. That inner conversation between me and me. My father says, if you're the voice inside your mind, the voice of your thoughts, the voice of your knowledge, who's listening? I am. Oh, really? You're the one listening, eh? Then who's talking? I am. And that's the relationship between me and me, also known as mind, body, and spirit. I am not this body. The body you see right now will one day pass away. I give life to this body. I am the force that animates it. Because when the moment this body turns into a corpse, that energy that anima animates it leaves. But the difference between that moment and now is that I am here. I am here to enjoy this body. I am here to be part of life. And just as much as I give life to this body, I give life to my mind. So if I am not this body, I am also not this mind. But I give life to both because I am the energy that animates both, which means I am the whole. I am that life that gives life to that mind, to that body, and it's talking to itself continuously. As this body is in harmony with life, that mind and that body may not be in harmony. That mind, that harmony, and that body can project conditions, 
of how I should live life. But more importantly, the conditions of how I should love myself. For example, my name is Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. I don't take things personal. I don't make assumptions. I am impeccable with my word. And sometimes I, uh, I, uh, what's the fourth agreement? Oh yeah, don't take things personally. Huh? Always do your best. Thank you so much. Oh no. <laughs> How can you? <laughs> In my mind, my body tells me, in order for me to be Don Miguel Ruiz Jr., I have to live up to this expectation that I have to embody the four agreements. Thus, if I live up to the expectation of Don Miguel Ruiz Jr., I am worthy of love. But if I fall short, then I am worthy of my own rejection. How can I call myself Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. if I don't remember that one particular agreement? How? So in order for me to accept myself, I have to live up to this expectation. I have to embody the four agreements, which means I've turned it into the four conditions of my personal freedom. I've turned it and distorted a very beautiful, dis beautiful tradition into the instrument by which I will subjugate my own will. Perfection through the eyes of the judge. In order for something to be perfect, it has to be completely free of any flaw. That inner voice grabs that definition and reinforces that conditional love in order to be perfect, in order to love myself. I have to be free of any flaw, which means I always live up to the four agreements. Well, guess what? I decide what a flaw is with my own agreement. We decide what a flaw is as a whole, as a community, as an individual, which means I'm judging myself on my own agreements, which means I'm rejecting myself on things I'm saying yes to. What is that word yes? In physics one, in order for a body to move, there needs to be a force that moves it. And I am the force that animates this body. That means when I say yes, I will move. I'll take a step to the left. Maybe I'll take a step to the right, no. <laughs> when I say no, it means I'm not gonna use this energy to manifest something. So my no is just as powerful as my yes. That's will. Free will is being able to express yes and no with complete awareness. Thus, an agreement represents the action of me saying yes. So in that interaction I have with myself, that every word I express, there is at the root a yes, giving it a meaning. Then if I believe that the only way I am worthy of my own love is to live up to the expectations of being Don Miguel Ruiz Jr., that means with complete, complete power of my own intent, I've said yes to loving myself conditionally. Even though my body is in complete harmony with life, with that breath, in that interaction between me and me, in that interaction between that voice that's talking and this body that's listening, or this heart that's listening, that interaction is in disharmony because I'm saying yes to conditional love. 
This is how, even though the body is in complete harmony, I may not be aware of it because I believe a condition. A condition that says, Miguel, you're worthy of love. Miguel, you're not worthy of love. And I subjugate my will to it. And I lose my free will. The moment, the moment I become aware that at the root of every belief I have, there is a yes. That everything in my belief system, that every thought that I have in my mind has power because I give it power with my yes. In the same way that I give power to this body, in the same way that I give power to this mind, I give power to my thoughts. And if my thoughts says, I am not worthy, thy will be done. And I'll subjugate myself for the rest of my life with that. And since I can only give what I have, which means that in that relationship with myself, there's only conditional love, then I am the constant in every relationship. I'm going to give conditional love to everyone I know. I only hang out with people who are impeccable with their own word. Honey, you're taking things personally. <laughs> when we judge someone, we are punishing them for agreements they never made. But we're making them say yes to it with our judgment. That's the way we control the will of another individual. By giving them permission to love themselves conditionally based on our point of view. Thus, that disharmony that is inside my mind is now being shared with everyone. And I live in disharmony. Then there comes the moment I become aware of the harmony that exists in my body, that harmony that exists in life, that symbiotic relationship that my body allows me to express that as I take breath, the environment around me nurtures me. And when I exhale, I nurture that environment. A symbiotic relationship that is based on unconditional love of that generosity and that gratitude. I am alive. And one day, I will say goodbye to this body. And I realize I have a choice. To live the rest of my life with this conditional love that I can only be happy if I live up to this expectation of Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. Or do I accept the truth? This is who I am. I take things personally. Sometimes... I make assumptions. Sometimes I'm not impeccable with my word. And sometimes I don't do my best. Just ask my wife. <laughs> but it's the truth. I can't change the world pretending to be something I am not. That is something that my conditional love imposes to me. To never accept me for who I am. And what am I? I am life. I am the expression of life, which is the expression of God, the expression of divinity, the expression of everything that's ever been manifested. And if I love myself conditionally, that means I also love the world conditionally, which also means I also love God conditionally. And if I become aware of this, then I have a choice to let go of that condition by accepting the truth. This is who I am. Change from this point of view is different. Because change before was in order for me to accept myself, I have to be there. That means I am not acceptable for my own love at this very moment, only until I accomplished 
in the example I give, only t until I'm able to live the four agreements, am I worthy of love? Well, I'm telling you the truth. I'm worthy of love right now. Because I am alive. I am this living being that's experiencing life. And just because of that, I am perfect. I am perfect because I am the expression of life. I am the expression of God. I am the expression of everything. I am the whole. The most beautiful lesson that I believe Christ has ever given was forgive them, Father. They do not know what they do. What makes that moment so powerful is that Christ was asking God to forgive them because he had already forgiven. Imagine that, to forgive before God forgives. The most powerful thing. The forgiveness of me is that I believe the conditions that created a division within myself. And if there was that division within myself, that was a division between me and everyone that I love, between everyone I have ever met, a division between me and life. And I forgive myself. And I accept myself. And I love myself for who I am. If I look at myself in the mirror, and my definition of being the handsome version of Miguel is to be 27 years old, full set of hair, and weighing 170. I look at myself in the mirror, I am definitely not 27 years old. I don't have a full set of hair, and there's definitely no way I'm a 170 right now. And if I look at myself and all I hear is judgment, then what I'm hearing are all the conditions I'm saying yes to. I'm saying yes to that self-judgment I hear when I look at myself in the mirror, which means I have the free will to change my mind. If there's a negative thought in my mind, I have the freedom to say no. Because I gave that thought power. A belief only exists for as long as I believe it. And the truth exists whether I believe in it or not. And I look at myself in the mirror and I see myself just the way I am and say, this is the truth. This is me, and I am worthy of my own love because I'm alive at this very moment. When that blossoms in my heart, then I am the constant opportunity to love everyone in my life with unconditional love, to respect their no, to respect their yes, which is to respect their free will, and we can build the dream of us in harmony with that mutual respect for one another. That is the gift of loving each other unconditionally. Because when I say yes to loving you, it has power because I say yes with complete freedom of life to say yes to loving me, to say yes to loving you, to say yes to loving everyone, is to say yes to loving God unconditionally. I love you. And that opportunity is here because I am alive. And while I am alive, everything is possible, especially the choice to live in harmony with my brothers and sisters. I am alive. 
you are alive. And together, we have the choice of building the dream of us with a complete awareness that the person we're looking at is a living being who has all the freedom to say no to me, which makes it even more special when that person says yes to me. That is respect. I respect that is born in my heart because I respect myself. And that mutual respect allows for that symbiotic relationship between all of us to be in harmony. And I'm aware of it. Just like the breath that nurtures itself with that gratitude and nurtures with that generosity its environment. I am grateful for your love. So grateful that I'm going to be generous with my love for you. And we build the relationship between you and I with a freedom of our free will because you and I are both alive at this very moment to make it so. Look around. Look around everyone here. Look into their eyes and say, I love you. Look into another person's eyes and say, I love you. Now close your eyes, take a deep breath, and as you inhale, think of the word, I love you. And as you exhale, say the word, I love you. That is the expression of life. And I am grateful to be with you at this very moment to say I love you and to say thank you so much for the opportunity to share this space and this time with you.